Talk Entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy, the man, rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, NJ to the city. That's me. Even though my lighting is terrible to do this, to talk entertainment, I'm going to go and do it for um, a bit of reasons that um, the last two albums that I dropped were, um, again, yeah, on YouTube, didn't go to iTunes, but yeah, on YouTube of um, the March Madness album and um, 2016 Perspectives from the 904. Now, it definitely, 2016 Perspectives from the 904, and definitely when it comes to the playlist of it, most of it sounded like a Love and Relationships album. Most of it, to pretty much the whole thing, something like a love and relationships album. It didn't. I didn't fully plan that. Plan that to be that. It was just definitely like, like a obviously like a last second thing that it turned out to be a mostly love and relationships thing. But it's just the fact being, um, the uh, much of the, much of the songs that um that uh, made up of 2016 perspectives from the 904, which is again currently on YouTube right now under my YouTube channel, Brotherhood Nation Entertainment, which is again the same channel you're watching this, The Talk Entertainment on. Um, much of 2016 perspectives from the 904, and definitely much of that album, um, uh, much of the album songs were supposed to be on Love and Relationships too. Now, and definitely, ladies and gentlemen, I have too many ideas. I write way too much, and I definitely, my mind is like always going on the sides of music, of new song titles, new ways to write certain things, and whatever else. The point being is that I'm really legitimately serious when I say that I can release a new album every single month if I wanted to. I could release a new, I really can be one of the most, the best, or the best artists out of all these genres of music when it comes to how consistently I drop. The lyricism itself would destroy half of the a lot of our favorite hip hop acts that we listen to today. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Drake is definitely one of my favorite artists. I listen to him consistently. Um, some of the artists that I like that I promote in my music is also Hobson, Futuristic, Andy Menio, a little bit of, Le of Lecrae, um, and whatnot. Um, I do have um, a lot of other favorite artists too, like uh, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. I don't listen to them that often, but still, those guys, um, you know, I got a lot of. Yeah, my phone's right here. Let me go ahead and go under my um, iPod app so I can go ahead and tell you some of the other artists I can name. Uh, Big Sean, um, Tech Nine, um, okay, I'm trying to see the artists that I definitely know, like Surefire, I want to put on this list. Um, This guy hasn't really dropped another album since Lord knows when, but his name is Chipmunk. Yeah, Chipmunk. <laughs> um, he's a British rapper. He um, indefinitely his he goes by the name of Chip now. Uh, it says that he's still signed to um, Ti's Grand Hustle, and I'm just saying the guy hasn't released anything in like two, three years, or even four, whatever. Like that last song I can tell you, mainly I heard by him was his song. Champion featuring Chris Brown, which landed on the uh, Madden uh, 12 video game, which was one of my favorite songs at the time. It really was. And um, I got Tupac on here. I got Ron Artest, his song Champions. Uh, Logic is one of my favorites as well. KB. Um, let me scroll down this list. Uh, Tedeschi. Uh, little, little, a little bit of Eminem. Uh, a little bit of Jay Z, a little bit of not a ton, because there's a ton of exposés on a lot of these, on some of these pe people that I'm, I'm naming. If you can look all over YouTube, there's a ton of exposés within their, their music, and that's just that. But um, Rachel Platten, shout out, God bless Rachel Platten for her album Wildfire or her EP Wildfire was one of those album or EP called Wildfire. The song I have on um my iPod for her is called Fight Song. That was really good. And um, whatever else. One of the biggest points, oh yeah, Alicia Keys, Jessica Jarrell. Um, the song I have by Alicia Keys is Girl on Fire. The song I have by Jessica Jarrell is Glow. I discovered Jessica Jarrell off of a shoe carnival commercial. So that was that. Um, Coco Jones, along with Tyler James Williams, their song together titled Guardian Angel. Um... Adele, Justin Bieber, yes, I have these people on my 
iPod playlist because again, some of the songs they make are legitimately real good. Songs I can definitely tell you right now on my iPod for Adele is um, Hello, Riverly, and A Million Years or something like that. Uh, Justin Bieber, Heartbreaker, I'll Show You, Sorry, I think Roller Coaster, something like that, and definitely. But one of my biggest points here is the fact being I can be one of the most consistent dropping artists. I have a lot of influence when it comes to the creativity of my music other than just my own self and my own life story. But I can be one of the most consistent dropping artists literally in the game. And definitely my lyricism, and definitely, I don't, I mean, um, the past albums, the last two albums were good when it comes to lyricism. Nobody can ever knock me with my lyricism. My flows, yeah, you can knock me with that a little bit, or not even a little bit, a lot of it. You can, you can, you can knock me with the flows, you can knock me with the beats, you can knock me with the, um, with whatever you choose, but the one thing I know no one can ever knock me with unless they're a complete hater, doubter, or just, just don't know real lyricism, you can never knock me with my lyricism. You can never, ever, ever knock me with my lyricism. Again, um, the song called Blessed and Gifted Legend on um, on um, the 2016 Perspectives 94 album, that uh, song, no beat version. So again, you want to hear some lyrics, some good lyricism without the beat, right there. The biggest point is like I, said, I can drop every month if I wanted to. I'm gonna do it, eventually do that. This hall of entertainment is eventually gonna turn into a more broader um, scale to where, like I say, you know, I'm gonna definitely you know, like I have a lot of friends, so and definitely um, I'm gonna branch out with them on stuff like the talk entertainment, on that reality show of uh, Into to the City Life in the 904, or on multiple other reality shows like uh, Nate at Night. Um, I kind of laughed at that title. I would think I would think like. What about, what about Nick at night? You know, I was I was thinking about that. But, um, what not. Um, the point is, I have a lot of, I have ideas for reality shows. Um, I was just previously in the 662, which is of Greenwood, Mississippi. I'm putting that on the map right now. Um, uh, multiple other songs. I've, I, while I was there, again, visiting family, because I have family down there, I wrote, uh, I wrote a few songs, and I definitely wrote definitely one that I actually uh, I think it's called 1 p.m. in Mississippi, and I um, put Greenwood, Greenwood, Mississippi on the map with that song and uh, another other song that I wrote while I was there. The biggest point is, yeah, putting Green, Green, sorry, Greenwood, Mississippi on the map, the 662, that's what's up, and, um, and definitely, like I say, you know, um, I just know I can be one of the most consistent dropping artists. My lyricism is one of the best you'll ever hear. You know, because a lot of these rappers that we listen to in the mainstream today, again, Drake, he's killing everything. This man, like DJ Academic said, is competing with himself. You know, when it comes to, I mean, he's breaking his own records. This man is just, I mean, Drake is just doing his thing. I, I again, I'm listen, I listen to that. I listen to Views pretty much every day of my life. That album is good. Uh, Drake is a very good artist. You know, whether he writes all his raps or not, he's a very good artist. And he definitely OVO um, with. Um, the guys I know of, Roy Woods, Division, Party Next Door, um, uh, Magic Jordan, and I think I'm missing one more guy. I know I'm not missing, I love Matt Conan, because his contract got moved up to Warner Bros, and then supposedly, once he got moved up there, he just went in and said, like, crap, I'm retiring. But um, the biggest point is, like I said, I know definitely some OVO artists or all the OVO sound artists, and um, and definitely the way I look at it is that um, I haven't listened to all of OVO Sounds artists' music, but definitely some of their um, some of their artists I've listened to. Uh, the ones I've definitely listened to, Roy Woods, and one of his songs I, I I have listened to some of Roy Woods, and in one of his songs I listened to by him on OVO Sound Radio, this man sounded like Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, he sounded like he was trying to be Michael Jackson. I'm like, what? But he sounded good trying. He sounded good trying. And definitely multiple other songs you're going to hear me and shout out at least one one, one other song. In due time, you're going to hear me shout out Michael Jackson and one of his um, songs, Remember the Time, and whatnot. And again, uh, rest in peace and whatnot. Um, but the biggest thing, one of the biggest things I'm just trying to say here, people, is the fact being that um, with my lyricism, I'm very much a lethal weapon with my lyricism. And, um, and definitely, the lyricism will blow you away once again with the Forever Misunderstood album, which... Again, it should hit iTunes. It will hit iTunes. It just obviously won't hit it right away, but it will hit iTunes this summer, along with every other project I drop. 
they will hit iTunes, but definitely at first, for the Forever Misunderstood album, most likely will be hitting YouTube first, and then it's going to hit iTunes eventually. Believe me, it's going to hit, it's going to hit iTunes. It's, it's going to hit iTunes. And eventually, my music will be on every music platform you can find, you know. The biggest thing, like I said, I can be the pos I can be the positive face of a lot of, of a lot of organizations, a lot of churches, a lot of, um, you know, um, a lot of things, you know, a lot of schools, a lot of parties, a lot of God knows what, you know, the, you know, the one of my one of my biggest points is the future is just so bright for me when it comes to definitely my outstanding potential. I know I can put myself on and put a lot of other people on to doing their their thing, and we, you know, we just grow, build, and learn together, and just you know. Make towards a better tomorrow, and just you know, God bless one one six and unashamed. You know what's up, and uh, I'm just saying the lyricism definitely, ladies and gentlemen, you will hear within this new album. It's very very good. I have 15 songs pretty much um, on this new album, the Independence Day album. I have no idea when that's coming out, but it should come out sometime in July. And definitely, like I say, you know, life in the nine, uh, life in the nine on four. Um, I don't know when the first shooting of that will go, and it, this is not some again high production thing of shooting. This is something I easily just shot off my iPhone. Shot off any anybody's iPhone or anybody's regular camcorder or whatever they have. That's all it is, you know. And I don't know when I'm gonna start shooting for it, but I know definitely this summer still. That's still going on. Life in the 662, I would have shot that. I would have I really would have shot it, but I just took a ton of pictures. I'm gonna post them on my Instagram of at NJ to the city with a number two. And um that's just that. And um and definitely, Life in the 662, um, like I said, I'm going to do what I can to come back to the city as often as I can and um, do what I can to rebuild that city step by step. Greenwood, Mississippi, I mean, I've been to it multiple, 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 multiple times. It's like I've been to Disney World down here in uh, Florida for like, Lord knows, like, my best opinion, like 20 plus times and whatnot. And I'm just saying, Greenwood, Mississippi has a lot of work to do. But Greenwood, Mississippi, and definitely, you know, I mean, for right now, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're doing their thing, and I salute everybody, you know, down there who's trying to make it a better place. And I'm just saying, definitely, um, you know, I'm gonna, you know, go back there and make that city mine. And what I mean by I'm gonna go back there and make that city mine, I'm gonna go back there eventually. Like I'm gonna go back there often, definitely. But I'm gonna go back. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Um, like every time I go back, I'm gonna try to rebuild the city step by step. And definitely, I gotta get the money to to rebuild it the full way I want to. But the whole city of Greenville, Mississippi, can be, you know, be put on the map very positively, along with any other city in the states of Mississippi and across the country, can be put on the map positively. And that's what I'm gonna do. And definitely, Greenville, Mississippi, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna rebuild that city, and I'm gonna give them people, you know, I'm gonna give hope. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna share hope. Share love, share character, share encouragement. We're gonna rebuild the city, and we're gonna do what we gotta do to move on to a God first. One one six hundred shame better tomorrow. That, that's just that. And again, y'all, my name is NJ to the City. Um, tw on Twitter at NJ to the City with the number two. I have like four or five uh, active Twitter accounts. Reason why I have so many is because of the fact, man, I'm a very um, artistic person. And what that means for myself is that I have a lot of ideas in mind, and that's why. I want um, Prez, NJ to the City, that's a political account for me. The Talk Entertainment account, that's pretty much for what I'm shooting right now. Um, NJ to the City Music, that's again another music, another music promotion um, account. Trivial Music, another music promotion account for myself. It was supposed to be called Trivial City Music, but, that, but the, city didn't, didn't, um, the city didn't fit in the username, so that's why it's not that. But the main account I use is at NJ to the City with the number two on Twitter, and definitely, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I can become one of the, one of the most consistent dropping artists in music period, and I and I will become one of the most consistent sorry consistent music dropping artists, and I will trailblaze, build my legacy, write my story. God first, one one six on the shame, and we will shine together, be put on the map together. All my friends, we're gonna be put on the map together, and we're gonna build our, our legacy, and we're gonna take this city, take the state, take the entire country and world by storm and we're just gonna shine spread peace love hope joy wisdom again this is not just stuff that and definitely i'm just preaching me preaching legitimately listen to most of my my again listen to this past two albums and then listen to all the future work i got this is not just something that i'm just preaching me preaching i legitimately have the heart the soul and the spirit for it you know the personality attitude for it and we're gonna do this 
we're gonna we're gonna do it. But again, yeah, with the reality shows and definitely will be put out in due time. Don't know specifically when, but it will, will be put out in due time. Life of the nine on four definitely will be.